bilang celebration natin na first year of our celebration. Ito na naman ako. Mali, mali yung term ko. Ba't ako nagsa-celebrate? Hindi ako nagsa-celebrate. So, the kids and the dads, everybody's out there. Okay, tuloy natin ito, mamaya kasi bumabalik na sila. Okay, ma'am. Mamaya na ako chichika kasi gulo nung anak ko. We have shared so many things during this time. Uh, ironically, so when, you know, when we've all been confined to our homes and, you know, asked to like, stay away from each other, it is also at the same time such a shared experience, right? I mean, like, we've all experienced one way or another the ups and the downs of having this pandemic. Um, Many of us have lost a lot of things and also, sadly, people. We've lost jobs. Uh, we've lost opportunities. We've also lost some sense of normal life. I mean, like, just to go to the mall is so weird now, right? Parang, totoo ba to na parang pagpapasok ka ng mall, ang dami mong kailangang ipirmahan, i-fill up, kailangan te ng temperature check, um, you have to be also very sensitive to people around you if they are, you know, uh, sort of anxious and all that. So, the way of life has been changed dramatically by uh, the pandemic. And I just can't imagine how, how we have all uniquely experienced and the, experienced the blow and have taken it and, you know, have coped with it in the past. Uh, how many months? 12 months. But at the same time, may mga bagay rin tayo na parang natutunan na otherwise, hindi mo rin talaga ma maiintindihan or magiget. Hindi ganito kagrabe yung experience na nararanasan natin. Hindi ganito tayo yun na sometimes, no, yung wisdom na meron ka o di kaya yung learning na meron ka, nakukuha mo lang talaga kapag ka merong isang malaking malaking bagay o hampas sa buhay mo na nangyari. And ayaw natin yung hampas, ayaw natin yung yung sakit o yung yung costs. Ayaw natin yun, yung mawalan, ganyan. Pero minsan yun talaga yung kailangan para matutunan mo yung kailangan mo matutunan. <laughs> On a lighter note, I have learned, I've picked up skills na I haven't had before or at least I would have a little bit but never really improved on it or pursued it because I found the time. I mean, I think that's one of the gifts of the pandemic, time. Where before you could not even, you know, think of spending time, lots of time with people you love or people in your home or really uh, notice, you know, even just your mom and dad na nandyan lang or di kaya yung mga kapatid mo o kaya yung mga anak mo di ba na parang lagi kang nagahabol ng oras dati all of a sudden meron ka ng oras endless hours with them and you're rushing after nothing and that's such a gift before the pandemic I I don't think there was such a thing as an unhurried life unless you were really making a decision to say na I want an unhurried life. Everyone is just going with the flow. Na kailangan ginito magtrabaho, ginito yung speed mo, ito yung mga kailangan mo. And I was like that. I mean, like, I'm a very dutiful person. I I also like to work a lot. I'm very professional. I like lists, you know, to do lists. And if I'm not mindful, that takes up most of my time. Ang dami na nakakuha ng oras sa buhay. Pag, pag uwi mo ng bahay, wala ka ng energy, wala ka ng panahon para makipaglaro ng maayos sa mga bata. Or, hindi, hindi maayos eh, parang makipaglaro gleefully, joyfully, childlikely, ganyan. Um, but you know, the pandemic has changed that. It has given us time. I personally have had some of my best memories during the pandemic. I feel like God has sealed such a precious time with me and the boys and my husband while we were in the U.S. It was such a, a blessing that we were stuck in the U.S. because these are we were stuck with my family, my family who uh, live 
all the way in California and we don't really see very often just because of the distance. Um, we're very close-knit family. We're a big family, but we're super duper close. We love to be together. Um, we like to do nothing together. We don't even have to have an activity to be happy together because we, being together is the highlight. And so when they started leaving for the States and pursuing different, you know, different life paths there, that was very painful for us to, as a family to break apart. And, you know, it's just, parang sa akin, may longing lang ko sa heart ko na, parang kailan ko kaya ulit mag-feel yun na magkakasama kami ng mga kapatid ko like before. And it happened, oh my God, during the pandemic, it happened. And I just kept thanking God for making something, something seemingly impossible happen all over again. It feels like a repeat of how I was when I was a kid. Hello. And I felt like it was so good for me to be there, especially during a time na during the time because at that time I was going through a lot of like 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 probably one of my darkest moments. And it's not because of the pandemic; it's like more personal reasons. But to be there and to feel safe in the company of, you know, people I grew up with was so good for me. And it really felt like, you know, God gave us a gift of just reliving the best of our years. You know, because it's the realization. Ko. So many things in our life end, but we don't really know that that's the end. Na pala. Magugulat ka na lang isang araw ang layo mo na sa point na yon na ah hindi na pala namin ginagawa at hindi na pala kami nakikita. For example, when you are with your with, with your siblings, di ba, in the house. You almost always know what's going to happen next because, you know, this is just, you know, what happens in the family. This is what we do in the home or like when on vacations, ganyan. And then one of those days it just stops. You don't you never get to do it again because one of you marries or one of you leaves the house and it's just never the same. It's never gonna be, it's never gonna come back. Yun yung isang matinding na realize ko eh na yung mga bagay palang nag end na hindi na rin talaga magka-come back, di ba? Na, eto na yun. And I miss those days, especially when I was young and you know, I was just really enjoying the company of my family. I miss those days but I can never bring them back and I feel like being in the States gave me an opportunity to kind of experience something like that again. And the same thing goes for my family there. Na parang that's how they feel about it. So yeah, that's one of the things now. Parang one of the most memorable things that has happened to me in the pandemic. If I'm going to summarize, ano ba yung pinaka lesson na pandemic sa akin personally? Medyo typical yung first part kasi parang na essential sa naman pala talaga kailangan. That is all you need. That at the end of the day, you will realize that you only need the essentials. Okay, before I go on and on about my sharings over here, I hope you understand and you you know that I am speaking from a position of privilege. Hindi lahat ng tao na nakaranas ng pandemic o ng quarantine will have at least one or two or three good things to say. And that includes my fellow kababayans na nagihirap. And you know, I'll reserve that for another time. These are my personal realizations. They are, they don't include how I feel about being a Filipino and kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ngayon ng mga kababayan kung nagihirap ng dahil sa pandemya. So we'll reserve that for another time. It was very poetic for me to get stuck in the US for six months, even when we planned only for one month and packed only for a month long trip. And so you could imagine how the same set of clothes were used over and over for six months. I didn't want to buy because I mean like it wasn't wise to really spend a lot, lalo na nung pandemic, di ba? But you know, that didn't take away from my joy. That didn't, that didn't even cause me anxiety that I didn't have a lot. Pag wala ka naman pala talagang gagawin, ang gusto mo lang naman talaga is, <laughs> in fact, yung nakapantulog ka all day. 
Hindi ko naliligo na sino man. <laughs> Baka naman mandiri kayo sa akin, pero... Yun, kahit di nga maligo, okay lang, di ba? Basta kasama mo yung mga mahal mo. Ganda, tweet nyo nga yun. <laughs> But really, that, you know, all you need at the end of the day are the most essential things of your life. And here's the second part of my realization. When we say essentials kasi, feeling natin napaka-boring kasi kung ano lang yung necessary, di ba? Parang munandali niya, yung mga pa-extra na whatever na kailangan mo, or feeling mo kailangan mo sa buhay. We usually think of the essentials as, you know, corny things. Things that you just need, but actually, you don't enjoy. But that's not true. In fact, when you learn to live with just the essentials, you'll find that this is why it's essential. Because it can give you joy in a way that other things, the extra things, are not able to sustain you. And what are my essentials? My essentials? Family. Faith. Which means God, right? And these are the things that kept me sane, kept me whole, and kept me joyful all throughout the one year of being uncertain about everything, your work, your health, your future. The essentials make you happy pala. They bring you joy. They're not just there because you need them. They actually can make you happy.